D2Gs, how you guys doing out there today? Hopefully everybody's doing all right. We got ourselves another build here. This time it's going to be with the Titan Solar. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys like playing with fire? Do you guys like seeing everything go boom? This build might be for you. <laughs> this is my little sales pitch right there. Hopefully I did a good job. <laughs> all right, let's continue, guys. Okay, so as you can see in the gameplay here, um, goes to the deep dungeon right here every add in this piece they do some hard damage they disrespect us in this dungeon okay guys but with this build you're gonna go ahead and dish it right back at them guys uh you're gonna be able to see how your fragments your mods the weapons of choices how everything works together and how everything just works seamlessly okay uh with this build if you're on the team you're gonna be able to do a lot of good damage uh to mini bosses and like i said this is a very 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 good synergized build you're gonna be able to do add clear with no problemo all right guys well continue watching the clips here and i will see you guys over at the build. Here it is guys, take that screenshot and let's keep pushing. All right, 
for our abilities we're using rally barricade we're, any lift that you want to go ahead and use is up to you your choice we are using throwing hammer and we are using a fusion grenade i find it a little bit easier for us while i'm using the fusion grenade to go ahead and throw it to a ad and once that ad dies it automatically grants us or grants me uh, three stacks on our roaring flames just by that add dime automatically so this is why i chose the fusion grenade for our aspects we're using of course roaring flames and we are using soul invictus so you want roaring flames to be procced as fast as possible because our chest piece um, our exotic chest piece is going to go ahead and grant us a very big sonic boom wave around us a very solar flare around us every time we punch someone is going to go ahead and just decimate everybody in the area and this is a pretty sizable uh radius around us as well as the damage that it does uh for our soul invictus of course we're creating sunspots so as soon as we go ahead and see the sunspot you can go ahead and stand in one of the little solar pools and you're going to be granted restoration as well as all of your abilities is going to be regenerated with a little bit more speed all right now and for our super this time around we're using a burning maul normally i'm always using a uh, hammer of soul but for some reason uh the burning maul to me with this bill is just going to create a little bit more of a synergy uh radius damage all around us so it just helps perfectly with this whole entire build so i'm choosing a uh, burning mall this time around plus the base cooldown on this one is eight minutes and 20 seconds versus the hammer of soul which is my nine minutes and 16 seconds so who knows but <laughs> let's continue on our fragments we're going to go ahead and use ember of torches we're using ember of ashes we are using ember of empyrean and we are using ember of mercy for our helmets here now, we are using uh, some siphons here. We're using double siphon, which is a going to be a solar as well as our strand and we're using another solar just because we want to go ahead and be granted as much orbs of power as possible all my bills revolve around, around orbs of power but now the little small caveat here though is be careful when you're actually picking up those orbs of powers because here once you actually uh pick up a uh, fire sprite thanks to uh, Amber of Mercy, which is what we want. We want to pick up a fire sprite. You're going to be granted restoration. Now, once you're shooting and killing all those ads, you're automatically resetting the timer for restoration. But now if you actually pick up an orb of power, it's going to go ahead and deplete the timer. So if you have 10 seconds of restoration, that timer is going to be gone. It's going to be like at two or three seconds. It's going to deplete the timer and you're not going to have enough time to keep uh, restoration procced up. So be mindful, OK, with this bill um, or any other solar bill at that, because any of my other solar bills, whether it be with my warlock or whether it be with my hunter, if I pick up an orb of power and I'm having uh, restoration procced up, it automatically takes away my restorations. I don't know if that's a bug, something that I don't know about. Um, but yeah, you can leave a message down and comment down below. But that's something that I've always noticed. Okay. But be mindful of that. Let's continue on for our gauntlets. It's going to be uh, heavy handed. We're using impact induction and we're using focus and strike. Uh, for our chest piece, which is going to be the Severance Enclosure, which is the exotic of choice for this build. Um, all of our power melee and final blows, as well as our finishers, um, once we go ahead and execute them, is going to create this big old nice radiance explosion around us, which really does do a lot of damage to all of the ads. And it also penetrates uh, shields, okay? So be mindful of that too. But that is why we want to go ahead and have uh, Roaring Flames um propped up because it's just gonna help us decimate everything around us by us punching or doing our finishers okay uh let's continue on we are going to be using uh emergency reinforcement and of course use any of the resistance mods that you want to go ahead and use according to your activity that you're doing for our boots we are using uh, recuperation we're using solar weapon surges two solar weapon surges now remember i told you be mindful when you pick up those orbs of power but in actuality you also still need those orbs of power because this is what's going to go ahead and grant you an armor charge which is going to go ahead and help you have uh, give you a little bit more of a damage boost to your solar weapons now by having two solar weapon surges i believe it gives you about 18 percent of a damage boost to your solar weapons uh one i think it gives you 10 percent. okay so be 
be mindful of that. And of course, once you pick it up, you're going to be um, you're going to have uh, recuperation. So it gives you health as well, too. Once you pick up an orb of power, if you don't have a fire sprite in area um, for last uh, Titan Mark, we're going to go ahead and use is a bomber. We're using a distribution. And I know I have a powerful attraction here because this is artifice gear, but you basically only need these two right here. OK, to make everything synergize well. Um, for our weapons, we're using a scatter signal, which I have a control burst as well as overflow on here. This is a crafted weapon. Uh, for our next weapon, which is an auto rifle, I'm using the Coronach 22. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but what is it with Bungie with all these names to be tongue twisters, huh? Eh, who knows? But I'm using this auto rifle. It has incandescent and envious assassin. This was a world drop. Um, and sometimes I actually do swap it back to my good old faithful, the epical integration. Once again, here we go with the tongue twisters. And this also has incandescent on there. Um, and our good old faithful heavy, which is the dragon's breath. Try and get that uh, catalyst as fast as you can. If you do not have it, it really does help out a lot. Okay. For our artifact perks, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of our solar ones, which is going to be Rays of Precision, is a Flint Striker, as well as a Kindling Trigger. Um, on a side note here, I had the Argent Ordinance uh, applied here, but for some reason, when I use it, uh, and I know I have my Heavy Ammo Finder here uh, mod, I was not finding any ammo finder anywhere but once i removed it i started seeing heavy ammo finder uh, heavy ammo all over the place so that's a little tidbit for you to uh kind of be mindful of if you have that product i don't know if it's just me or not but you know leave another comment down below about that if you've noticed that as well but i've noticed it so i just removed it completely just because i much rather have all of my heavies for my heavy weapon okay but all right guys if you made it this far for as a token of my appreciation I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with this boom and please like subscribe. You can go ahead into Bungie.net and go ahead and redeem that for yourselves. And I see you guys on the next one. Peace.